So this is an instructional video for how to use the Shiatz tonometer, which is an old school device for measuring intraocular pressure. It comes in this large case. Inside there is two smaller black cases, one here and then one there. The other thing that you'll need from this case is this conversion chart, which comes in there. And there is some instructional uh, documentation as well from 1956, which was the last time that this appears to have been updated. You'll open the case and find the actual tonometer here. A couple of important pieces in it. First is the scale that's up top, and that gives you the reading that you'll use on the conversion chart after you assess the pressure in the patient's eye. It has these holders here on the side where my thumb and index finger are that help you to hold the device without actually putting pressure on the scale, throwing off your measure. Um, and then the little plunger down here where my ring finger is um, that actually will help to measure the intraocular pressure um, and is what actually moves the scale. So the first thing you need to do to get it set up before you take it to the patient is to pick the weight that you want to use. Um, this conversion chart, you can see that heavier weights will give you higher intraocular pressure measurements. Um, so it depends on what you anticipate the pressure to be and if you get a number uh, that's below zero or it's pinging at zero, then you should go to the next weight up so that you can get an accurate reading. We're going to use the 5.5 weight and you can see right on the side there is the weight engraved in it and that just slides into the little groove on the actual tonometer. That's right in there. You can actually hear it click into place so that you know that it's holding. Um, and before where the plunger kind of fell out the bottom, it doesn't anymore because the weight's in place. Uh, so we'll go actually measure the intraocular pressure and then we'll come back. All right, so we're gonna use a Shiatz tonometer to check intraocular pressure in a patient with bilateral eye pain and a history of glaucoma. Okay. Looks like it's reading about five. And it's about the same, it's hanging out at around five. So we have the weight here and have it over the cornea with stable and supported without the eyelids and the needle's resting right around five. We'll use our chart to find our intraocular pressure. We go down to the 5.5 gram column. Under a tonometer reading of five, you see that that puts our intraocular pressure at 17.3, which is a normal pressure. Now, after we're done with the tonometer itself, and we've gotten our reading, we're just gonna clean it with an alcohol wipe. Um, so you just wipe down the parts that uh, touch the patient. You can wipe down the rest of it as well. Um, avoid using the purple uh, wipes on this because it does touch a mucous membrane. 